I'm Sean Simmons. Uh, we're racing flat track out here at the Timonium Fairgrounds. I'm riding Lucas Oil number 60 Honda and we're sponsored by Ellicott City Motorsports. The club that I belong to is called the Baltimore County Trail Riders and we're partial promoters which means we set up a lot of the races and run the races and most of the people in the club also race. The Baltimore County Trail Riders was founded about 43 years ago by a group of trail riders who used to meet right here in Timonium at Dunkin' Donuts. And uh, we put together and then we got together and motocross started to grow. So as uh, things got together, we started to organize a little more, organize some club rides and uh, some more charity rides. And a lot of our events benefit one charity or another. And we've been racing here outdoors at Timonium for several years for cystic fibrosis. One of our Hall of Fame members was Gary Nixon, who was Grand National Champion for Flat Track, which is about as good as you can possibly, as far as you can go in that sport. Gary was inducted into the AMA, the American Motorcycle Hall of Fame, um, in honor of his accomplishments. And he lived in Cockeysville. He was a member of the Trail Riders, kind of a founding member. And just by his stature, his very stature in the sport, he lent a lot of legitimacy to uh, the activities that we do and the club itself. He passed away suddenly about a week ago, so tonight being our last race is sort of a tribute to him, which is why you'll see everybody wearing the Gary Nixon shirts and stuff like that. Yeah, we're all celebrating number nine tonight because uh, in honor of Gary Nixon, that was his national number. Uh, he was the national champion in the 60s, 70s, and one of the founding members of the Baltimore County Trail Riders. Greg Batwell was when I was about 10 years old, he raced with my father. And he won the number one plate for motocross and for flat track and pretty much was the best at everything at one time or another. I've been riding since I was 15 years old. I'm older than that now. Um, and I retired about a few years ago. It did, it did pretty well for the series, but then my knees hurt, started to get tired, and the family was a little less than thrilled about it. Greg came out of retirement just for tonight. Uh, to ride Gary Nixon's old number, which was number nine, and put on all his his uh, his old stuff, and uh, and ride an older bike in the vintage class. And we uh, had some ceremonies for Gary this week, and with his passing, um, I felt I felt it was an honor to uh, ride uh, a Triumph motorcycle with his number on it, in in honor of him, really, in his memory. That's right, we had somebody looking over us. He probably was a little scared for Greg, knowing knowing that, that uh, the bike didn't have any brakes. Um, but he probably was laughing too and just hoping that he got off the line and got a good hole shot. You know, he was watching going, yep. you know what, how come you're not going faster? <laughs> God bless him, he is going to be missed. My dad would absolutely love it. When he came here, to Cockeysville um, to be with the Triumph Corporation. This place became home and all of this racing tonight and everyone just giving him a tribute just is a testament to show what a, what a great home this is. There's so many memories here in Cockeysville and there's just so much history that goes on in the motorcycle world and he absolutely loves that there was a short track here and that he used to be able to come during the summer and, and just watch some races right down the street from where we live. So it's just awesome.